one of the first steps in solving a problem is recognizing that you have one in the first place. Like for my addiction, I did not realize that I had a problem. Everything seemed to be alright. Like there wasn't any problem at all. I was enjoying my tubs of ice cream and fast food every single day. I could still go through whatever I needed to do. For example, if I needed to run a program, if I needed to meet clients, I needed to interact with my family members, if I needed to look after my little nephew, whatever that needs to be done, I, I did it. And not only was there no problems, but I felt that by eating the ice cream and fast food, it made me even feel better. Like, it even motivated me to do the things that I wanted to do. So that not only was that not, not a problem, but whatever I was doing, if I felt that it helped me to improve my life, my day-to-day -day life. So that was the danger. I didn't realize that internally it was destroying my body and in turn my mind as well. So I didn't realize it until drastic things happened. In my case, I collapsed and was really out for like almost three months before I started to slowly recover. So it was like a, a quite a sudden kind of thing and made me realize that sometimes we need to like take a step back and look at our daily schedule and what we do each day, certain actions, for example, what do you eat, what do you do, I recognize or pinpoint certain things that might be out of the ordinary. For example, if you're doing something that takes longer or takes up more of your time each and every single day, try to evaluate and look at it and maybe discuss it with somebody and just come up with an, uh, maybe an evaluation of whether this could be like taking over your lives. If Is it an obsession? Or is it crossing the line into an addiction? Now, there's behavioral addiction, for example, like um, gambling, shopping, internet surfing, or watching pornography. Or it could be consumption kind of addiction, like what happened to me. Or it could be con worse still controlled drugs. It could be smoking. Yeah, it could be any any type of food. So if you have your behavior day to day, realizing that you needed some external factor in order to help you to feel good or help you to go through the day, then you realize that you needed it more and more as the days go by, as the months go by, as the years go by, then probably it might be time for you to take a step back, evaluate and see if you need help. That's the tricky part because it didn't occur to me that I had an issue. Because you see, if I if I had an issue, I would have actually stopped it before it uh, became quite serious. So, like I uh, during my day to day interactions, when I, I was running my business throughout the time where I had this addiction, didn't have any problem to me. In fact, it spurred me on. To do well, like if I had, if I had maybe angry interactions throughout the day with clients, with my co-workers, with my colleagues, even with family members, when I had my tub of ice cream and fast food at night, all the problems disappeared. There wasn't anything, and in fact, it spurred me on to do better next the next day. So it was like a mask. It became like a false sense of motivation, like oh. The ice cream made me feel good so I can carry on doing it but I didn't realize the damage that was causing inside of me so the body was being destroyed I was thinking that it's a good was a good thing you know? make me feel good what's the problem let's carry on doing what I was doing all the while you know so the first step is recognizing that you have an issue that needs to be solved and then looking for the right channels and the right people to help you, whether it's your whether it's loved ones, professional help, or if you like to try self-help, 
In subsequent videos, I will share with you certain techniques that I use and I've been using to follow up and to maintain and even improve my overall condition. So these days, I feel much better. Previously, when I first, at my peak weight, I was 153 kilograms. That's about more than 300 and maybe 20 pounds. And my waistline was around 53 or 54 inches. My chest was about like 63 or something like that, 63 inches. And I couldn't walk even one flight of stairs. Not even one flight of stairs. Maybe even like after maybe six or seven steps, I start to feel breathless and a bit giddy. Uh, so the energy levels were quite poor, very poor in fact. So current my current weight at the moment, I'm around 75 kilograms. Yep, 75 kilograms. That's about maybe 150, 155, 160 pounds. Yep, so I feel the main thing about this whole incident is that I feel much better now. I feel much fitter, more energy levels. I uh, get a better night's rest. I can think more clearly. I feel a bit happier. Even happier than if I had my tub of ice cream. Actually, the more, one important thing is that I'm able to control what I eat now better. I can still have my tub of ice cream, but I don't have to have it every single day like I used to. For example, I'm able to control it. If I want to have it on a Saturday, I can tell my mind, I'm just going to have it on Saturday and I don't have it on the Sunday and the rest of the week. It is perfectly fine. I was able to control it very easily. Not like how it used to be, but I needed to have it every single day. So the control factor is there. So I'm proud of myself that I'm able to do that. Uh, I'll share with you in subsequent videos certain techniques that I use. And it's good because... I can apply this. I know that I'm confident I can apply this in other areas of my life as well. So previously when I had, when I was a bit heavy, but I used to lack energy. So I had the fear of doing any kind of exercise, fear of being mocked at by other people, fear that I might not be physically up for it. I might collapse because of my poor physical fitness levels. So the fear is gone. I'm able to be more confident to carry out whatever I need to do. In fact, but actually looking back, I was actually quite a confident person even when I was heavy. Confident in presenting, confident in running my business. But I'm even more confident today. So it helped me out. So remember, the first step is recognizing and realizing that you actually have an issue that you need to discuss with someone to help yourself. So look through your lives. What are some of the things that you enjoy doing? Is it an obsession? Is it just something fun? Or is it crossing the line into becoming an addiction? Look through, recognize it. If you have any email, any questions, drop me an email or drop me a message. Thank you very much for listening. I look forward to hearing from you again soon.